What's up guys, I'm Tom. Welcome back to my channel. Well today we're gonna take some worn out faded headlights that look like this and we're gonna make them look like this. So if you wanna see how we do it, stay tuned. Check this episode out. So it's always a good idea to mask off anything you're gonna be sanding. That way you don't accidentally sand anything that you don't mean to. And that's where we're going to start off with the headlight restoration. We're going to start by sanding with 400 grit wet sandpaper. Um, I like to put that little sponge behind it because it kind of helps the sandpaper follow the contour of whatever you're sanding. And yeah, the 400 kind of knocks the stuff down pretty quick. And you'll see it looks like this after you're done sanding with the 400. It's nice and flat but a super even finish. So after the 400, we're going to switch to 1,000 grit sandpaper. And as you can see, instead of going horizontal now, I'm going vertical. And I do that. I, every time I switch between a different sandpaper, I switch directions. And it makes it easier to see when you've gotten the sand marks from the previous sandpaper out of there. And I also think it makes it cut a little bit faster. So the third step is 1500 grit to get all the rest of the scratches from the 1000 out of there and give you a nice fine finish. So that's what it looks like after the 1500 and you can see it's already starting to get a little bit clear. And then we're going to bust out the compound. So this is Meguiar's 105 on a microfiber pad and I'm using the Rupes mini machine here. So you see me going fast at first, that's actually just spreading the product out. And then once you actually get to the compounding, you actually move the machine relatively slow and uh, let that compound do the work. And you can see after this first pass, the headlight already looks way better but there was still some sanding scratches left in there so I decided to make a second pass with the 105 once again spreading that compound out and the nice thing about Meguiar's 105 is it's actually designed to take wet sanding scratches out of paint so it does a really good job on removing the 1500 grit sanding scratches it could be, yeah. so check out after this wipe off yeah that headlight looks super shiny now they did come out good. I think the worse the headlights are, the better the final product really is. And one of the tricks to compounding efficiently is always keeping that pad cleaned out. So the one part of the headlight that's hard to get, with even with that 3-inch mini machine, are the corners of the headlights because you just can't really dig the machine in there to get at it. So I like using the Nano for this because you can just get that little one inch pad right in there and take care of business so after the compounding we're gonna move to a polish so here I have the yellow Rupes pad and some Meguiar's 205 and all this is doing is taking out the very fine micro scratches left over from the compounding and just really refining that surface and making it as smooth as glass which you'll see after this wipe off it looks absolutely amazing I mean it almost looks like a brand new headlight I know there's a lot of kits out there that claim you know minimal effort to restore your headlights and it's just a paste or you know a crummy little kit but really the way to do it is to do the wet sanding and then compound the wet sanding out that's really when it comes out the best um, so we were going to do a, um, a Rust-Oleum Wipe New product, which is kind of a permanent sealer for the headlights, but it was supposed to rain, and it has to cure for a while out of the water. So instead, what I did here is I put some Jeskar Power Lock on there, which is like a three-month polymer sealant, so it'll protect them till they get a bit warmer out. And uh, yeah, check out how these headlights look. They really came out great. 
I got a couple before and after shots so you can really see the difference but they came out really nice and clear and uh, I'm interested to hear back to uh, how these things work at night now because I'm sure that Dave can see way better at night out of this thing so some of you may have noticed the driver's side headlight had some condensation in it and uh, this was the solution here so just taking a drill you know a little bit and drilling a little hole in the top as a vent to kind of let the vapors out and then uh, just taking the heat gun and just you know slowly heat, heating it up until all that water evaporated and kind of vented out the top and then we just put a little dab of super glue in that hole and uh, it was all sealed right back up as always thank you guys for watching and i'll check you on the next one